Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do the daily tarot reading. It is for Monday the 12th of April 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. Um, the new moon is happening today actually when I'm doing the reading, which is the 11th. So really I'm kind of thinking these messages are applicable 11th to the 12th. Remember my readings can also resonate a few days after they're released, okay? Divine timing and all that. Okay, so what do we have please, angels, spirits, guides? Okay. We have know you belong. We have number 19. And number 44, surrender to the flow. Okay. What do we have, please, angel spirits, guides? What is the message that people need to hear the most? All signs, Monday, the 12th of April, 2021, please. Let's pull an angel card. Thank you. I've got new love. Interesting. What do we have, please, angels, spirits, guides? What is the message that people need to hear the most? Monday, the 12th of April, 2021. That literally fell out and I think it's gone out reversed. We have uh, the Ace of Swords reversed. Empress energy. And the King of Cups, the Lovers, Temperance, Page of Swords, and we have the Eight of swords here it feels like there is i mean the aces are generally a new beginning yeah you know new beginning energy next level and yeah it just feels in this energy uh, certainly with the Ace of Swords reversed. I mean, it feels with this Lover's card, which can be love, romance, relationship. It's a card of harmony. Um, two people coming together who aren't necessarily alike. They can complement each other. They fit like a jigsaw. So, you know, it's almost kind of like complementary energies. They may be different people in their own right, but they fit together perfectly. And that's the whole thing about the Lover's card. It is the complementary energies which actually make the strong union. And we have the Ace of Swords which can be about finding inner clarity. It feels like you're thinking about, it feels to do with love, romance, relationships and in this energy it feels to do with new love. There's some kind of like new love, maybe a decision or a choice that you need to make here. It feels for some of you, you have the opportunity to form a powerful union. And this Ace of Swords reversed, it definitely, this is about getting that inner clarity. Maybe you're being offered love here. It feels like there's definite temptation around you, but in a nice way. Um, and it feels like this energy, you know, you're getting some inner clarity in terms of how you want to move forward or you need some sometimes there can be an energy of i'm not sure i'm a bit clouded you know things aren't particularly clear to me right now i need to get some clarity from within in how i move forward with this relationship i'm going to clarify the lovers let's clarify the lovers please it feels like a new beginning energy for some of you Yeah, it, I mean, it does, you see. 
Ten of Wands and the Seven of Cups. I mean, the Ten of Wands can be carrying burdens. The need to release burdens, make space for the new. Um, and we have new hopes, new dreams, new wishes here covered in the cloud. <laughs> so, it, it, yeah, it, it feels like you're confused to do with love, romance, relationships. Maybe you're, you're not sure if somebody likes you. You know, it can be that kind of energy. This Ten of Wands, uh, it feels like some kind of burden. And it generally is a burden built over a period of time. But the opportunity to look at new hopes, new dreams, new wishes now. There's definitely an energy here of whatever you've been through before this, leading up to this, you have doors opening for you and it feels to do with love romance relationships it might be that there's some confusion you're not sure how someone feels about you there's a need to get clarity here you don't have the clarity it feels like you see the potential here but it's almost kind of like you don't know how they feel let's clarify temperance Let's clarify temperance, please. Thank you. Okay, I've got the page of swords again. Yeah, I mean, the temperance card is, um, it is a card of balance in all things. It's also a card of patience. Um, patience, moderation, the truth will come your way. There's a need to find some kind of truth, some kind of clarity that you're not seeing right now and it feels to do with love romance relationships i mean for some of you these burdens could have built up in a current relationship for a period of time and you might be thinking can we bring new love into this situation so again uh can we overcome the the, the test of a challenging journey you know that you've been through together um it can also be to do with new love for some of you and it feels more for some of you it will be new love here releasing old burdens um making space for the new and definitely that page of swords is be patient somebody is going to express their truth to you or you're going to express their truth to them you know the empress is a card of real promise you know she is a wonderful card of promise and um, abundance nurturing uh, creation something that can has the potential to be created she's a three the master number three, um, which can be in tarot to do with man something that can be manifested in the first signs of it happening, the first signs of things beginning to happen. Um, she is very good to do with romance, love. She's Venus energy, very good in terms of money and career as well. But she's the promise of something wonderful. Uh, the birth of something new so it definitely feels in this energy there's real potential for new seeds to be sown here and there's a message be patient you're going to get the clarity that you've been seeking and it feels like from somebody you, I, I just feel that you're confused or you don't know how they feel maybe there's some baggage that either you have or they have maybe you're thinking it is it, causing some kind of block here i don't think it is you know it, it feels in this energy that yeah this eight of swords can be a card of negative thinking inhibited um thinking the swords is to do with the mind our perceptions our thought patterns But it feels in this situation you just don't have the clarity here but the message is the clarity is soon coming because with this expressive cups energy you know the king of cups uh somebody who isn't always easy to read it feels like someone isn't always e someone is, isn't easy to read and you think there's potential with somebody but you don't know if they like you 
well, it feels like they're going to express their feelings soon. You know, I see him holding one of these cups that is very much linked to new hopes, new dreams, new wishes here. So it feels in this energy somebody is going to express their truth. Somebody is going to tell you how they feel. Um, there's a feeling of revelation here, revealing their feelings. So the message is just surrender to the flow. It's interesting, this energy, know you belong um, whatever that means to you, uh, it might well be for some of you, know you deserve this, know that you are exactly where you need to be, just surrender. It, it just feels like this kind of energy of, it doesn't feel you're in the wrong place, it doesn't feel like you're dealing with the wrong person, it feels this is the right person because there's such potential, there's such promise around this relationship the soil is right the conditions are right the sun is out the seeds are ready to be planted everything is perfect you know for this new beginning this new creation so there's definitely an energy here of there's potential just wait uh, be patient just surrender go with the flow don't overthink a situation because that will just you know um your mind can run wild with the Eight of Swords. It can be when you're in your head too much about it. And the message is they're going to express themselves. It's going to, they're going to make th some, their feelings clear. So just give them time, space, just surrender, keep on doing what you're doing. The message is don't rush it, you know. Um, I'm going to pull a final card. So I'm going to pull an angel card because I've lost the fairy cards again. <laughs> they seem to disappear every few months. So um, <laughs> let's, uh... oh, there you go, signs. Well, obviously meant to use that deck anyway. We've got, you're going to see the signs. You know, you're going to get a clear sign, a clear signal. Um, it, it feels like something is going to become clear. Um, but there's just a need to just be patient. Um, the truth, somebody will express their truth. Uh, somebody will express their feelings. It just feels that they're a little bit difficult to read. It feels like somebody has been through, uh, is carrying baggage from the past. And it might well be in this situation that, you know, there can be a little bit of inhibited communication, a little bit of inhibited thinking. Um, but it feels that they're going to get over that. Any barriers that are here, it definitely feels like somebody's going to get over this and speak their truth. So, yeah, the message, I like the way you just read the signs, see the signs, you'll see, get a sign. Uh, very nice energy, just be patient. So I hope you enjoyed the read. I know you'll belong. You're exactly where you need to be. Just surrender right now. And that's the message. That is the card of temperance as well. Just surrender, allow yourself to find the way, go with the flow. You know, it just feels in this energy, everything will open up in the time when it's meant to. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.